hi guys welcome back to my channel law a here guys it has been i think possibly a month since my last video and i must apologize for that and it's really because march was as march as it could have been it was the marchiest march ever but guess what the most important takeaway from last month for me was that if god brings you to a situation he's going to take you through the situation he is and there are many situations in life where we feel as if we have reached a dead end but trust me it's not a dead end god will carry you through once you just sometimes you just need to pause meditate a little take some time to really just reflect on your purpose on your goals in this life on your mission while you're here on earth and just with that period of reflection sometimes god provides you with answers to situations that you really thought that there was no solution to and that really was was what march was for me i had met a lot of challenges during that month but you know what i'm here today and i'm grateful but stay tuned guys because next is a long promised my hair regimen video <music> Alright, so let's go. So before I begin, please remember guys, if you have not yet subscribed, subscribe to this channel for your hair as well as your health related content. Alright guys, so if you guys have been following, so my last video was on building your hair regimen. It's a very important video because once you have an established hair regimen, then you basically have everything. There really isn't much more that you really need to know about hair care once you have your hair regimen done packed there's not much more to hair care than having your established hair regimen so i had introduced you guys to this hair hair regimen triangle and uh, i'm just going to go through this triangle and i'm going to tell you guys what i have been doing at each section of this triangle relaxing and trimming okay so i relax my hair every six to eight weeks what that is so old school that is so archaic and and i get that i get that because i know that most women in the relaxer community nowadays have been stretching their relaxers and i mentioned that in the building your hair regimen video and it works for a lot of people and for some people it does not the truth is that i haven't really tried to stretch my relaxer so I wouldn't really say that it doesn't work for me, um, but I would say for sure that by the time my hair reaches six weeks, seven weeks, eight weeks post relaxer, it becomes very difficult for me to manage my new growth. That doesn't mean that I can't stretch my relaxer. That just means that maybe I haven't yet found the products or maybe I haven't yet mastered the skill of softening my new growth to have a successful stretch. If you haven't yet mastered that, then you might end up doing more harm than good. And I personally don't believe I have yet mastered that skill. And that is because, once again, I haven't yet invested in the right products. I have heard about um, S-Curl um, to help soften new growth. If you guys have ever tried S-Curl, let me know. Let me know how that has been going for you in terms of incorporating it into your regime to allow for a more successful stretch. So if you ever used it, let me know. If there's any other products that you have used to stretch your relaxer, let me know. I really do intend to try it one day, more from a financial standpoint than anything else. It's not that I think that relaxing my hair at six to eight weeks is causing any damage to it. It is more to save money. The thing though, guys, if you don't know how to stretch your relaxers, meaning going beyond 10 weeks, as I said before, some people relax their hair every 10, 12, 16, 24 weeks, 6 months, which is 24 weeks. Um, you have to know how to do it properly because if you don't do it properly, then you're going to end up breaking your hair, damaging your hair. And whatever hair growth you had achieved during that time, you're going to end up losing it due to breakage. When I go beyond 8 weeks, I find that my hair starts to break a lot and that is the risk with stretching. If you haven't mastered the skill of managing the two textures, your hair will break and you will lose hair and you won't retain length. If you guys stretch and you have been stretching successful, successfully, also let me know in the comment section 
and also i actually don't self relax i go to my hairstylist i go to a professional i've never tried to self relax and i'm not so sure if i ever will i don't think i have the courage to do so but there are lots of youtubers out there guys who do self relax and they have pretty good videos um online hairlicious is one of them she has very good um self relaxing videos um tutorials if any of you guys are interested in doing that you can check that out right but i personally go to my hairstylist to relax trimming i also get that done by my hairstylist i trim roughly every other relaxo but what is important as i stated in the last video on how to build your hair regimen is that you trim as needed so it's not necessarily that you must trim every two to three months it is said that usually within three months you may develop split ends so you may need to get a trim but if you're taking that good care of your hair and at the end of those three months your ends are still perfectly fine then there's no need to trim it right that means you're doing well in retaining your length and vice versa if two weeks after you have relaxed your hair you notice that you have developed split ends then it's best to get rid of them because as i had said in our prior videos on split ends they are not gonna come back together they're split the relationship is over you guys remember that remember that the, the relationship is over right they're not gonna come back together it's just gonna continue to deteriorate along the hair strand and when you go to trim eventually you're gonna have to cut off much more than you had wanted to so it is best to just get rid of them so once again i trim as needed and i have found that that has been roughly every other relaxer all right so next we're going to move on to washing right so the day before wash day i part my hair into small sections and i'm going to have a video on this i part my hair into small sections and i apply my jamaican black castor oil to my scalp with my applicator bottle one second let me get it guys right so my jamaican black castor oil i feel this applicator bottle here with my jamaican black castor oil and uh, the day prior to relax today once again i'll part my hair into sections and basically just apply this to the scalp only at the end of yeah at the end of the process i would kind of um just rub my hands against the hair shaft um whatever excess oil that's on my hands i would rub it against the hair shaft but i'll focus mainly on the scalp right um this is the closest that i've gotten to a pre-poo so i otherwise don't really pre-poo so pre-pooing once again is the process of applying an oil-based product or like a leave-in conditioner to your hair prior to washing it and that is really to provide moisture to your hair before the shampooing process because as i had stated in prior videos once you shampoo your hair you're going to be stripping your hair of oil it's all its oils and moisture so pre pouring kind of prevents you from excessively stripping your hair but there are also ready-made pre products out there right that i've heard are very good um there is one called moisture miracle that has created a buzz are, are like a real buzz like people are saying that they really really love it and that it has been doing great um for their hair as a pre poo so you guys can check that out i've been trying to find it here in jamaica and i've been unsuccessful so i think i'm gonna have to order it online <laughs> or something um because i really want to try one day so after that no the day after i have applied this to my scalp i would wash my hair um Jamaican black castor oil is very thick and I'm going to have a separate video talking about this but it has really been doing wonders when it comes to the thickness of my hair it has caused my hair to be a lot more voluminous right my hair has um, increased in body increased in volume and bounce since I've started to do this and I've been doing this for about three months three to four months now and I've seen a, a great difference I must say I think I made a post on that on Instagram recently as well. Um, so the following day, I would wash it up because it is so thick, it can, it, it actually weighs down my hair. So you can't really keep it in your hair for too long. Some people 
um, dilute it with lighter oils like vitamin E oil, grapeseed oil, um, jojoba oil, argan oil. You can add oils to your Jamaican black custard oil to dilute it a little bit to make it a little you know, in consistency, right? And once they do that, they use it as a sealant once they have moisturized their hair. So I don't really practice that. I still just focus it, focus on using it the day prior to my wash day on my scalp. So on the actual wash day, we're gonna do the basics. We're gonna use our shampoo. We're gonna use our conditioner. The shampoo that I typically use is a moisturizing shampoo. And sometimes I do use a sulfate-based shampoo when I have a little buildup in my hair. So that is the purpose of sulfates. Sulfates help to create that sod in the hair. And what that really does is help to remove buildup from the hair. So shampoo conditioner. Every wash day I use a moisturizing deep conditioner. So if you guys can recall, you have two types of deep conditioners. You have moisturizing deep conditioners protein based deep conditioners and you do have deep conditioners that are a mix of the two both moisture and protein based so every wash day i either use a moisturizing based deep conditioner or a moisture and protein based deep conditioner now once again i was saying um in prior videos that every four to six weeks you should use a protein based deep conditioner but if you have never used protein before it is best to first try a light protein such as the ORS, ORS hair mayonnaise protein to make sure your hair doesn't react badly to protein. And anytime you use a protein based deep conditioner, it has to be followed by a moisturizing based deep conditioner. I personally have not been practicing that whole thing of using a protein based deep conditioner every four to six weeks. I really have not been. Um, because I had a bad go with protein some years ago and I'm still a little bit skeptical about trying it out again. I, I did start using a moisture protein based deep conditioner recently. The ORS replenishing conditioner. It has been doing such wonders for my hair. I only started it like a month ago. Um, but I haven't tried a straight protein in a long time. I haven't tried a strong protein in a long time. One day I might just build up the confidence <laughs> to, to just give it a go again. Um, but for now, I'm good with using my mix of moisture protein based deep conditioner. Right? So that really is your wash day, your shampoo, your conditioner, your deep conditioner. Now, after I've washed my hair, I routinely set. That is how I dry my hair. I always dry my hair with rollers in. I've actually never tried um, braiding, what, what do we call this again, braid out. I've never tried um, the scarf method before. Um, I, 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 I tend to just like the whole roller set thing because I, I like knowing that my ends are being smoothly laid down on the rollers, that my ends are being protected from direct heat as well because I sometimes do use my blow dryer. So roller setting is probably something that I'll be sticking with um, for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, before roller setting, I of course use my leave-in conditioner. I also use a sealant, right? Remember, sealants are your oil based products. And I also apply my heat protectant. Then I put in the rollers. I typically use the orange and the purple sized roller. Now, once I roll a set, I then air dry my hair. Sometimes I'm in a rush to get my hair dry, so sometimes I do apply heat using my blow dryer. I usually put it on the, the, the low heat setting. Um, sometimes I leave my hair a little bit damp, not too much overnight and just sleep with the rollers in, but I mostly air dry with the rollers in. Now, once my hair is dried and I've removed the rollers, I then moisturize with my, as I am, double butter cream, which I have fallen in love with. I'm going to have a separate video on this, guys. Love, love, love that product. And I sealed with my Evie Strand Aloe Vera and Coconut Oil Hair Serum, which I've been using for years. Now, with regards to maintenance, I typically try to roll and set my hair every day, but you guys know that sometimes it just doesn't work out like that. 
every day is not equal some days are just a little bit more difficult than others so some days I do a full roller set and I sleep with the rollers in while on other days I put my hair in a very loose ponytail with my ponytail clip that I have discussed on many occasions and I apply one roller to the end so you can check out my morning and night routine video to see just how I set my hair at night and then I put on my satin cap my satin bonnet or my satin scarf and I go to bed okay after that is just say a few words on my as I am double butter cream right and my Jamaican black castor oil so the Jamaican black castor oil is a natural product it is um, produced by the castor beans right and it is rich in vitamin E it has been found to increase the thickness of the hair it has been found to increase the fullness of the hair it can be used on both hair and skin and also nails right and it improves the health of all of these integuments right and I was very skeptical about it because I've always heard about products that can actually improve your hair volume, improve your hair thickness and I've always been like, yeah, sure, all of that just comes down to genetics anyway, you know. And I did try Jamaican black castor oil some years ago and I hated it because I didn't know how to use it. So I basically just took it and used it all over my hair. My hair was weighed down and I said it never again. And it also has a very strong smell. So I was turned off years ago, but then I decided to try in 2020 to use it properly. And as I had said previously, guys, I have been using it on my scalp on the day prior to relax a day, prior to wash day. And it has really, really done a number. It has really, really helped the, 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 the health of my hair in a way that I never really expected that it would have. Um, so check it out guys, especially when it comes to your edges and your knee If you have difficulty um, with thinning edges and thinning of your knee um, Definitely definitely check out this Jamaican black castor oil Try it out. You have to be consistent. You have to try to use it at least once a week And I really am confident that you should see results after a while. Okay, and that's a Jamaican black castor oil Next is my as I am double butter cream so you guys would have known from my previous videos that in the past i didn't use to moisturize my hair because i i always thought that oiling was the same thing as moisturizing your hair so i always had a hair oil but i never had a hair moisturizer and my hair was always dry and i couldn't understand it and then i would just take more hair oil and apply it again and then it would be dry again and i just be so confused like why is my hair so dry and i'm oiling it all the time and that is because oils are sealants they seal in the moisture from your moisturizer they are not moisturizers themselves so if you don't have a moisturizer and you have just been oiling your hair and you find that your hair is dry then you may have to consider investing in an actual moisturizer so i decided to do that and i had tried so many different moisturizers before i finally got to the one that works well for me I have been through so many and I'd be so disappointed each time because I'd be like man I just wasted my money <laughs> I just I just wasted my money on this product so a lot of the products that I've purchased have been a very watery in consistency and it wouldn't work very well with my relaxed hair but this now the as I am double butter cream it is creamy in consistency right all right creamy in consistency and it smells so good which has been which has been a weakness for me because sometimes I use it just because it smells nice <laughs> and it's not even cheap so I need to stop that consistency feels so creamy and soft in your hands and I just love it it doesn't weigh down my hair I usually just use like a very small amount like this right you just put it in the palm of your hand can you guys see yeah and what I have been doing is applying it to the palm of my hand and then I have been adding my sealant my oil to it and then rubbing both of them together and then I rub it along the shaft of my hair right so I don't apply my moisturizer and sealant separately 
because I'm kind of like it's, it's just kind of me doing double the work for no reason so I typically just mix them together and then apply it from my hair and that has been working fine for me some persons some persons you may have to you may have to consider doing it separately just to ensure that you have covered every section of your hair properly let me wipe this off but um i haven't really been doing it separately i've been just doing everything together to save time <laughs> anyway but guys this makes my hair so soft it makes it so shiny and sheeny it makes it so moisturized and I really don't have to use it very often once again I've been using it a lot because of the smell <laughs> but aside from that I only need to use this like twice a week right it has been doing such a great job for me and I'm just so happy as I finally found a moisturizer that works for me after being like 10 15 that didn't work anyway guys what which moisturizers do you use let us know uh, so that we can help each other out um yeah because sometimes sometimes um we really don't know what what to what to use and we end up buying a lot of stuff and wasting our money you know so moisturizers have been working well for you guys let us know <laughs> so guys i really do hope this was helpful i really do hope that you'll be able to establish your own hair regimen by the end of this video i want you guys to answer the following questions right if you can answer the following questions then you're on your way to building your own hair regimen you can get a little diary you can get a little notepad a little book write down the answers you can also post the answers in the comment section you should have a definitive answer how often are you going to relax how often are you going to trim how often are you going to wash what products are you going to be using on a wash day how often are you going to use your deep conditioners which means both a moisturizing and protein based deep conditioners how are you going to dry your hair? Are you going to air dry? Are you going to use a blow dryer? Are you going to use a hooded dryer? Are you going to use roller sets in your hair? Or are you going to use a scarf method? Or are you going to do a braid out in drying your hair? After your hair is dry, what do you then apply to it? Do you have an established moisturizer? Do you have an established sealant to apply to your hair? How do you style your hair in between wash days? What accessories are you going to use? Are you going to use elastic bands? No. Are you going to use scrunchies? Are you going to use a clamp clip? Or just have an established regimen so that when you wake up in the morning, you know that this is what I'm going to do. You don't have to think twice about it. You already know what steps you're going to take next, right? Um, because sometimes it is in the whole pondering and it is in the whole hesitancy and it is in the whole oh I don't know what to do that we end up creating damage to our hair because we are clueless but if you sit down and establish a set regimen right and you know what steps to take next the risk of creating damage and causing damage to your hair will reduce significantly yeah true story so I just want you guys to just spend some time answering those questions and if you have an answer to those questions then you are on your way to healthy hair you probably already do have healthy hair but you may be on your way to even healthier hair <laughs> right i am still on my journey i still haven't i'm still refining my hair regimen there are lots of things that i am considering adding and subtracting i truly appreciate all of you who have subscribed commented liked, shared so far and i'm just gonna ask you to just continue to please support and thank you thank you once Oh,